This is Mental Health Week in Canada, and two Conservative members of Parliament are pushing for a three-digit crisis hotline. With increasing demand for suicide prevention services during this pandemic, the MPs are hoping Canada can institute a 988 hotline in order to remove some of the barriers for people seeking help. Joining us live on CP24 tonight, MP for Dufferin Caledon, Kyle Seaback, along with MP for Caribou Prince George in British Columbia, Todd Doherty. Thank you both so much for making time for us. Uh, Mr. Doherty, you put forward this motion in the House of Commons to establish this hotline last year. Why is this so important to you? Hmm. Well, uh, suicide has negatively impacted my life. Um, uh, and um, in our last session, I put forth a uh, uh, private member's bill, C211, that um, dealt with post-traumatic stress disorder and uh, and mental injury and mental illness and um, in Listen, anything that we can do to remove a barrier uh, for those that are at the point of seeking uh, seeking help is so important. We know that every 24 hours, 11 Canadians take their own life and that there are another 275 attempts. Every year, 4,000 Canadians um, die by suicide. Those are the numbers that we know. Um, so we need to do everything in our power to remove any barrier for those seeking help. Mm -hmm. It is so real and so present in the pandemic in particular. Mr. Seaback, you've also said you've been candid about this, being personally affected by mental health and depression. Can you tell us a bit about your personal story and why you think it's so important to support this motion? Well, I, I've had some mental health challenges in my life. I've gone through some periods of very severe depression when uh, I was receiving uh, treatment through both uh, uh, medication and through counseling. And even through that, you can have some really dark moments. And I know what we often say is, you know, reach out, talk to a friend or call a friend. But in times when you're having a real crisis, I think people are often reluctant to call a friend or to even call a family member. And having a 988 number, which is readily rememberable, and you get to speak to someone anonymously uh, and reach out in that time of crisis, actually, I think, is far more important, uh, a far more important tool than saying maybe try and reach out to a friend, which is why I think, uh, you know, Todd's, uh, th Todd's idea on this is so fantastic. And Mr. Seaback, you know, to pick up on the idea of having a number to call that you know and sort of be familiar with, Kids Help Phone have said uh, just yesterday here on CB24 that the number of calls they've received uh, during the pandemic from youth, you know, concerned about mental health, potentially suicidal thoughts, that sort of thing, have spiked. So adults really need some sort of alternative as well, don't they? Absolutely. And we're really pushing to try and get the government to act on this. Uh, you know, the motion was passed. Uh, the government's had a significant amount of time to take the steps necessary to implement this. And now is the time. So, Mr. Doherty, yeah. why 988? Well, we're uh, we're following suit with what our our uh, our friends and families to the south have done. Uh, the U.S. has implemented a, a 988, or they passed their 988 uh, motion to stay consistent with uh, what is being done uh, uh, with our friends to the south. Um, we kind of piggybacked on on that um, uh, experience, and again, uh, using 911 as a, as an example, when minutes count. Uh, a simple, easy to remember three digit number can make the difference between a life saved or a life lost. And and to the comment that was made uh, a little bit ago um, uh, by uh, uh, about our, our young, you know, the kids helpline and uh, facing a, an increasing epidemic, we know that suicide is the second leading cause of death amongst young people in our country. Mm -hmm. So doing everything we can to make sure that they know that um, that they can reach out that the person on the other end um, can li listen with empathy, um, that they're trained to find help, uh, that help is available and that people, w we care. I, I think that's the biggest message that we want. You know, my best friend committed suicide when we were 14 and I was the last one to see him. And if I could ever have that night over again, you know, I, I've said this publicly before, I'd tell him that, uh, that I loved him and that my world was a better place. Our world was a better place because they're in it. And I think that's a message that we need to share. I bet you would. That's that's an important message. I wonder what is the appetite, uh, Mr. Doherty, appear to be from the Liberal government for this proposed bill. Listen, uh, you know we um, we've had good conversations with the minister, but again, the minister holds all the cards. Um, it is in the hands of the CRTC right now, but we know if there's political will, we can get this done. 
um, the the messages that I've I've got and the meetings that I've had with uh, providers and and uh, and stakeholders is that the will is there. We just need to push it, and we don't need another study. We know that we're going to come out of COVID with an ever worsening mental health crisis. Um, even looking three to five years down the road, um, uh, we we need this now. And, um, and and just to put this into context, um, our motion passed 144 days. That's 144 days, and, and using the statistics that we know of, of uh, 11 people losing their life to suicide, 11 Canadians losing their life to suicide every 24 hours, that's 1,584 Canadians that have lost their life to suicide. That is another 39,600 39, that had attempted suicide in the 144 days since our motion passed. Um, you know, um, mental health isn't a partisan uh, subject, but... Uh, we need political will to get this done. Okay, we'll see if that political will uh, still remains. Uh, Kyle Seaback, Todd Doherty, thank you so much for doing this, and uh, we'll see if we can get this 988 number through. Thank you again. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Thank you.